What's happening guys? My name is Danger on PC. This is a little bit of a follow-on video for the um, E2 door, the button that we made. But now I'm going to do it a little bit more advanced and I'm going to make it so within a certain distance it actually opens for you. So let's get down to it. So for this you're not going to need your button anymore. So let's just remove the button. There we go. But we are going to need a wire target finder. Now we want to make sure that the minimum range is 1, maximum range is 400, depending on what you want. Actually, we're going to set it to 200, I think. Uh, maximum number of targets, 1, maximum number of bogeys, 1, and minimum range, 1. You want it to target players and paint target. Let's just spawn that in. And let's go to beacon sensor. We just want it to output distance. Let's spawn that in as well. Now we're just going to go to wire advance quickly and we're going to wire target to the target finder. So now that we've done that, we are going to want to go to our chip expression 2. Now if you right click on the chip that you've already got, it will already open the code that you have put into that chip. So what we're going to need, we're going to need the input is no longer a button and we're going to want a distance instead. We're going to want the distance of the player to the door, and then output will still be length. So we're going to want to get rid of this. Now let's have a think. Now what what do we want to check? Now we want to check if distance is greater than, say, 150. Then we are going to want our door to close. Otherwise, we want it to open. There we go. Right, so I'm within that distance. If I move away, and it should... Ah, I know. I haven't wired the distance to that. Now if I do it, there we go. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of an error. If we come far away, over 150 meters away, uh, over 200 meters of the target finder then it will open this is because the distance of the beacon sensor will set to zero now if we come in that'll close that will open again like so so a way to fix this is to update our code a little bit so let's go to our expression 2 let's update our code now, what we're going to want to do is, when we are too far away, our beacon sensor is equal to zero. So, we're going to want to say, distance is greater than 150, or distance is directly equal to zero, then we want the door closed. If we do that, update it, come away, it, shouldn't, it should stay closed this time. Like so, and then if we try and walk up to it, there we go, opens, closes, like so. I'm just going to update this to here so it moves in line a little bit more. But there you go guys, um, I know quite a few of you will be wanting to know um, actually how to make this and how to make an automatic door using the E2, so there you go. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe, comment with any issues that you had and I'll see you in the next video.